The purpose of the debriefing session is so that we can um, to see what needs to be, um, we, we can agree on what, what went really well uh, with the lesson, uh, what could be tweaked, and what needs to be taken out altogether and reamped and put back into the lesson so the students can understand, uh, learn better, and walk away with a more, uh, with a better sense of uh, the lesson itself. We're all able to bring our own ideas to the table, and um, one person's idea normally triggers somebody else's idea, and um, in the end, everyone has the uh, ability to look at someone else's point of view and their own, and see the way their point of view interacted with their own point of view, and build on it. So in the end, it's accumulation of everyone's point of view and makes it one good idea. In the debriefing session, what we do is, first of all, we look at the lesson as far as all the positive points. And then we go back and we literally dissect it, piece by piece, I mean, segment by segment. We talk about how the kids reacted, um, how they didn't react, which is scary sometimes, um, how they acted socially, whether they had the content knowledge to be able to actually do it, um, whether they had the ability to follow the instructions based on the scaffolding we've done to go into this lesson. In the debriefing, we want to look at the data that was collected and um, get an idea of how the students responded to each aspect of the lesson. I start with the presenter and um, let the presenter tell us what she felt went well, what didn't go so well, um, if she saw any difficulties in the lesson, um, if she learned anything from the lesson itself. Um, once she has presented, then we go on to each one of the observers and get an idea of the data that the observers collected and listen to the responses of, from the students at different parts of the lesson. I break it down then, each part of the lesson we break it down and we discuss each aspect of the lesson to try to target any anything that needs to be changed and really look at what went well and what didn't go so well that we need to change for our next lesson. There's several reasons why we want a quick turn turnaround. One is so that it's fresh in our mind and um, we remember the original lesson and then we can compare that to the revised lesson to see if there was any difference in student learning and student motivation. Um, another reason is that we have constructed this lesson as, as a team. This was not just one the presenter's lesson, it was the collaborative lesson of everyone and the rest of the team wants to get in their classroom and then teach the same lesson to their students. So it's it has to be timely.